I am Professor Milligan. Welcome to Ask the Professor, where I answer questions on investing in a plain and simple way. Question was, what is a bond? A bond is nothing more than an IOU. It's a long-term IOU. It can be issued by firms, corporations, government agencies, governments, but it's a debt instrument that bases an IOU. And the issuer promises to pay interest. Depending on what the bond is, the interest could be paid annually or semi-annual, which is twice a year. Depending on who issued the bond, will determine the degree of safety and also the tax ramifications. So let me explain. U.S. Treasury bonds are tax exempt. You don't pay any state or local tax on U.S. Treasury bonds. They're issued by the United States government. These bonds are deemed to be the safest in the world. Because of their high degree of safety, Treasury bonds have the lowest yields of debt instruments um, comparable for their maturity. Treasury notes have maturities of one to 10 years. Anything longer than 10 years is a Treasury bond. So that's what we're looking at. The other ones that issue bonds are corporate. Corporate America issues debt. In fact, 75, 80% of all capital raised by corporate America is in the debt market, bonds. Corporate bonds typically pay semi-annual, twice a year, and because of what's going on in the marketplace, depending on what's happening with the company, what's happening with the market and the economy, they have ratings anywhere from a AAA, which is deemed to be the safest um, corporate bond you can buy. And by the way, treasury bonds have a AAA rating as well. So you have corporate bonds that can have a AAA rating. All investment grade bonds have a rating of triple B or higher. Corporate bonds issued by corporations, the interest that they pay is fully taxable. What's interesting is municipal bonds, these are bonds issued by state and local municipalities. They are tax free from federal tax. They're tax free from state tax in the state that the bond was issued in. And they could also be triple tax exempt, which means they could also be exempt from the local county or city where the bond was issued, if you reside in that state and that city. Now, the last thing I'm going to tell you about bonds, which is probably the most important, is bond prices compared to yields have an inverse relationship. As the bond price goes up, the yield to maturity in that bond is going to come down. As bond prices go down, the yield to maturity on that bond is going to go up. Now understand, the payments aren't going to change. If the bond's paying you 50 bucks every six months, it's going to continue to pay you 50 bucks every six months. What's going on is the value of the bond will change depending on what the interest rate is in the market. As market rates go up, bond values, especially long-term bonds, values go down. Market rates, interest rates in the market go down, bond prices go up. And now, bond prices can go up first, interest rates might move after, but that's how it basically works. Thank you for watching the video. If you found the video helpful, please hit the like button. Look for more Ask the Professor videos on Fenstream TV. You can follow me on Instagram at Professor Milligan. Tune in every Wednesday on the market close for my Wall Street Wednesday, where I discuss the market, trading ideas, strategies, and things of that nature. Feel free to email me any questions that you might have. You never know, I might do a video on it. You can email me at askprofessormilligan at professormilligan.com.